And we do have some extra time to kill. But yeah, this isn't an extra video or anything. This is just a little extra content that does have some relevance to the storyline, the main quest line. So I decided to add it in here anyway. But yeah, basically, what we just did, that was the main storyline. There's nothing else to it. You basically just had to do that. And that was it. And you get the microwave emitter. So let's go ahead and go to the boat. We're going to find out. Because if you remember, we still don't know who cut our heads open. And we still don't know, um, you know, where our brain is, that pizza we're missing is. We don't know anything about that. So we still got to figure out where that last loose end is. And we got to tie it. So we're going to go ahead and go to the boat. Because that's where the last loose end is. And we're going to go ahead and, you know, tie that up. So we don't have to worry about it. I just thought you guys would be kind of interested in seeing this bit. Because I know when I saw it, I thought it was pretty cool. So basically, we're back at the hey, boat, and hey, look, just it's in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. The boat As driver? A totally unrelated hint. I'm in charge of his boat now. Yep. What did you do? I consider it payment for what he did to my poor sliced up brain. I was gonna do the same to him, but I figured you'd want the honor. Seems that when the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab him when the Pungaseeds gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for Punga fruit to trade. Sweet little deal he had going on. What a bastard. Yeah, he seemed nice enough, didn't he? I wouldn't have figured it out if I hadn't snuck into his engine room while waiting for you. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love. Preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. She's a lovely woman. Anyway, so now what are you going to do? First off, I'm claiming this boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn, if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. Think At least you got something out of the deal. Ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. <laughs> Any chance you're going home now? Now that I've got this sweet boat, I guess I can head back home. For a while, anyway. Just wait till Mom sees the haul I'm bringing home. So, you know, that's the last loose end that needs to be tied up. Well, not quite, but you know, whatever. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. There's still one more loose end we have to tie up before we can end this game. And that is in this room right here. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard Drug some reference. of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? Fucking bastard. So it's true. Why did you do it? You're a dead man, you son of a bitch. I want to figure out why you did it first. Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end. One way or another. So basically we gotta tie up the last loose end of this place to end our final quest and say goodbye to this lookout point. Look. Why not do it with the weapon that we were rewarded with, you know what I mean? Basically it turns them into dust. And if you take a look over here, there's pieces of gray matter, or brain if you will, all along these cupboard holes. Let me get rid of this. See? There's brain everywhere. And, funny enough, I thought this was kind of funny that they even added this in here, but if you look here, 
familiar piece of brain is what it says and if we activate it watch what happens for some reason you feel a terrible tense of loss as you look at the familiar lump of gray matter I'm gonna go ahead and take it with us why because it's sort of got a sentimental value to me I really don't have a reason to take it um you know I just decided why not take it with me and there's actually one more thing I wanted to do just to kind of uh, go ahead and get this place ascending off before we uh, you know finish our uh, video here and uh, go ahead and leave fallout or excuse me lookout point I'm gonna go ahead and pull this baby out um, this probably won't do anything at all, but, you know, it just kind of is going to be funny. I'm going to aim it at Nadine here. But, um, before we do that, um, i just like to thank you guys for watching my video on Point Lookout. Um, but that's basically a Point Lookout. That's the main quest line. Um, I'm not going to be doing any of the side quests as, um, the main, you know, I'm not going to be doing the side quests as my main videos. But if you guys do, um, want to, in fact, see some of the side quests, I will, uh, show you one of the side quests but that is all I'm doing I'm just doing one of them and that's it and um, I, I will also show you the alien blaster if you're wondering where that is if you haven't already found it for yourselves but anyway that's the point lookout I hope you guys enjoyed watching and you know without further ado I say let's say goodbye to Nadine and say goodbye to point lookout so hope you guys enjoyed watching um, I know I enjoyed playing so I will see you guys next Let's Play. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.